Hello everyone. This is the overview of our final year project presentation. I am Sushmita Sharma along with Anumita Datta going to present final year project presentation on the topic smart package system package tracking and handling using IoT under the supervision of Professor Kandar Kumar Sharma, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Guwahati University Institute of Science and Technology. This is the outline of the presentation that we are going to discuss in the later slides that are introduction, motivation, literature review, methodology, problem formulation, theoretical background, hardware and software used, work done, conclusion, future direction, Gantt chart and references. Let's begin with the introduction. As we know, loss of luggage can happen to anyone irrespective of circumstances and condition and also luggage and baggage contain important documents and precious items in it. So if it is lost, we may fall in trouble. Also there are people who forget luggage and bag which contains important documents and precious things. So it is very necessary to track down the bag in case of loss. The Internet of Things IoT is a network of objects like buildings, vehicles, etc. which are when embedded with sensor and electronics and other network helps these objects to collect data and exchange information, hence helps us to track down the objects. Benefits of IoT can be seen in different fields like hospitals, school, colleges, manufacturing industries, supply chain, offices, shops, markets, etc. etc. As IoT allows the object to be sensed and controlled from remote access point, which when integrated with computers in the physical world improves its accuracy, efficiency and financial benefit. The main motivation behind the project is to make smart baggage system as an innovative carry on luggage to make life smooth and easy and to prevent luggage loss or theft and also to provide better security and intelligent features which is required in this modern era. These are the following research papers that we have read and completely followed in our project. The author's name and findings are given as shown. After completely following the research papers, we have come up with the problem formulation as follows. Establishing a wireless network communication between the modules and the smartphone using microcontroller. Creating a simple reliable tracking system using ESP8266 Wi-Fi module that will be the medium between the module and the embedded system to work efficiently. Programming Arduino in such a way that it will interact with the module and sensor easily and directly. To build a suitable alarm system in this project, we are using fingerprint sensor that will work efficiently with Arduino Uno. To establish connection with cloud server through ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. These are the hardware components that we are going to use. Arduino Uno, GPS module, fingerprint sensor, Node MCU ESP8266 and buzzer. This is the hardware description given as follows. Arduino Uno, it is used as microcontroller to connect all the different sensor and hardware. Buzzer, it activates when alarm is on. GPS module, it retrieves the luggage location when the end user sends the right command. ESP8266 work as microcontroller as well as Wi-Fi module to send data to the cloud. Fingerprint scanner, it scans the fingerprint. These are the softwares that we have used Arduino IDE, ThingSpeak, BlinkCap, IFTTT. Let us see the theoretical background behind the project. Tracking needs the use of GPS. GPS refers to Global Positioning System. It aids the network of 24 satellites in orbit and devices on ground to establish objects location on Earth. 
GPS tracking tracks three separate data that are positioning, navigation, and timing. These satellites continuously broadcast their location and status from above us, which is continuously monitored by master control station as well as other tracking monitoring stations to ensure accuracy and proper function. How GPS works at any at any instant of time, there are at least four GPS satellites in line of sight to the receiver on Earth. Each of these satellites sends information about its position and current time to the GPS receiver at regular interval of time. This information is transmitted in the form of radio signals which travels at the speed of light. The distance between the GPS receiver and satellite can be calculated by subtracting the send time from the receive time, which means by calculating the difference between the time signal was sent from the GPS satellite and the time receiver received the signal. Once the receiver receives the signal, at least from the three satellites, the receiver can point its exact location. A GPS requires at least three satellites to calculate 2D positions, which is latitude and longitude on map. Fingerprint sensor. Fingerprints are tiny ridges, holes and patterns on the tip of each finger. Each human has unique fingerprint. A fingerprint scanner basically has two jobs. It needs to get an image of your finger and it needs to determine whether the pattern of the ridges and valleys matches with the pattern that is stored in the database. There are mainly two types of scanner, optical fingerprint scanner and capacitance fingerprint scanner. The one that we are using in our project is optical fingerprint scanner which works by shining a bright light over the fingerprint and takes a digital photo. It converts the patterns and ridges into ones and zeros and creates users own personal unique ID. Fingerprint scanner working. The fingerprint sensing process typically consists of capturing fingerprint image, extracting distinguished feature and storing digital template. The process includes fingerprint registration process and fingerprint matching process. The captured image is digitally processed and distinguished feature are extracted which is used in the database and used for matching. As we can see here, digital image of fingerprint is taken, distinguished features of fingerprint are identified which are converted into binary, binary numbers and a unique ID is created. The working approach of our project is explained with results in further slides. This is the flowchart of process activity that we have followed in making of our project prototype. First, we have designed the circuit and identified the pins with Arduino Uno board. Then we have constructed the circuit for testing the modules and hardware that we are using. By doing so, we understand operation of each feature and then we create coding for each feature and tested it again by Arduino and hence we have designed our circuit. This is the methodology where we have divided our system into two parts that is tracking system and fingerprint alert system where in tracking we collect data and track it via google map and in fingerprint system we scan and store the fingerprint and check its validity if valid we, you can access if it's not valid uh, alarm message is sent. So first see the methodology of tracking system. The data is collected through GPS. GPS receiver retrieve data from at least three, four, three to four satellites. This data is processed through microcontroller. Here we are using ESP 826 microcontroller to send the data to the cloud so that we can analyze it. By getting the longitude and latitude value, the Blink server calculates the exact location of the luggage on the Google map. This is the basic block diagram for better understanding. The satellite transmits data which is received by the GPS module. This data is sent to the node MCU. The node MCU sends longitude and latitude value to the Blink server. The Blink server calculates the longitude and latitude value and gives the exact location on the Google map. 
This is the circuit connection of tracking system. Tx pin of GPS module is connected to D2 pin of node MCU. Rx pin of GPS module is connected to D1 pin of node MCU. VCC of GPS is connected to 3 volt of node MCU and ground of GPS is connected to ground of node MCU. This is the GPS data that is collected over a period of time on things pick cloud. Here we can see latitude graph as well as longitude graph. Here on the serial monitor we got the latitude and longitude value by the GPS module. Here we can see the location on the Google map via Blink app. Blink app calculates the lat longitude and latitude value and gives the exact location of the luggage. Now let us see the methodology of fingerprint alert system. First, we scan and enroll the user fingerprint. The fingerprint sensor takes the digital image of the fingerprint and creates unique ID and it's stored into the database or the processor and the comp software compares it with the user fingerprint. If it is authorized, we can access the bag. If it is not authorized, we get an alarm message. This is the basic block diagram of fingerprint alert system. Fingerprint is valid, you can access the bag. If it is invalid, the ESP8266 connects to the IFTTT server from where we get an alarm message. This is the circuit connection of fingerprint alert system as shown. Here we can see on the serial monitor, scanning and enrollment of fingerprint is done. The function of fingerprint scanner is to scan the user fingerprint. During scanning, the fingerprint scanner captures and stores the user minutia. Here we can see checking of enrolled fingerprint is done. After enrollment and storing fingerprint, it checks the user fingerprint whether it matches with the stored fingerprint or not. After checking the enrolled fingerprint, if it matches with the stored fingerprint, it means valid, you can access the bag. If it is not valid, the ESP8266 connects with IFTTT server through which we get an alarm message on our device and also buzzer is beeped to alert. Here we can see the alert message on Gmail when unauthorized person tries to access your bag. So here we conclude with that smart baggage system is a feature which when implemented on luggage can enhance this feature which is required in modern era. In this project, we developed a system which is low cost and provide better security features. So here is the future direction which we want to implement in the future such as power bank on luggage, introduction of personalized app where tracking, weight of luggage, updates of flight could be given. The introduction of digital lock in the luggage for providing better security system and also implementation of weight tracker so that the user can pack luggage accordingly. This is the Gantt chart of our work progress. First we collected the research papers and read thoroughly and made the problem formulation. Then we studied the modules briefly and started working on GPS module and fingerprint alert system individually. Then we inst interfaced these modules and checked each of the modules and then we built the cloud database. These are the following references that we have gone through while making project. The working part of project is explained by Anumita Datta. This is the working video of our project entitled Baggage Tracking and Handling System. This is the methodology of the project where the project is divided into two parts that is tracking system and fingerprint alert system. So, in the tracking system, we will be collecting the data of the longitude and the latitude from the GPS receiver module and we will be sending it to the Blink app and the exact location of the baggage will be shown in the Google map. This is the block diagram of the tracking system where the GPS module first makes the connection with the satellite and receives the data of location and sends it to the node MCU, which again sends the data to the Blink app and Blink app calculates the data and shows the exact location in the Google map. Components used GPS module, ESP8266, working prototype, 
Blinking of the LED indicates that the module is connected to the satellite. Here we are getting the longitude and the latitude value of the luggage. And in the Blink app, we can see the location in the Google map. This is the methodology of fingerprint alert system, which is again divided into two parts, that is, enrollment and checking of the enrolled fingerprint and process of alert system. This is the enrollment and checking of the fingerprint where the image of the fingerprint of the user will be enrolled and the image will be converted into a digital signal and it will be stored in the database. And every fingerprint scanning event will capture a new image and it will be compared to the ones that has been stored in the database and it will be used to analyze whether the person is authorized or unauthorized. This is the process of alert system where the sensor will check the fingerprint that is trying to access the bag and it will send the data to the ESP8266 for valid and invalid fingerprint. If the fingerprint is valid, it will let us access the bag and if the fingerprint is invalid, it will connect to the cloud server and will notify us through mail. This is the block diagram of the fingerprint error system where the fingerprint sensor scans our finger for valid and invalid fingerprint. The valid fingerprint can access the bag whether if the fingerprint is invalid, the data will be sent to the IFTTT server through ESP8266 and IFTTT will send us the mail after activation of the condition. Components used ESP8266 Fingerprint sensor Arduino Uno Buzzer Working prototype This is the enrollment of the fingerprint. We are storing our fingerprint. Here the image of the fingerprint has been taken and we need to put our fingerprint again. Here it is matched. This is the checking of enrolled fingerprint. We have to put the same finger and it has been matched. This is the alert system. It is waiting for a valid fingerprint. This is the stored fingerprint. So you can access the bag. Again it will be waiting for the fingerprint. This is the invalid fingerprint. It will show that the fingerprint is not valid and the buzzer will beep. And we will get the notification through mail with the date and the time. Thank you. It's a genuine pleasure to express our deep sense of thanks and gratitude to our guide and support, Professor Kandarpukumar Sarma, for his constant support and guidance throughout the project.